Back Central Florida, one of the Orlando Science Center's most sought after exhibits is dressed up in shiny lights this holiday season. The dinosaur exhibit got a festive makeover. Meteorologist Eric Burris takes us there to learn more about these fascinating fossils. Hey there, welcome to the Science of It. I'm meteorologist Eric Burris here with Jeff from the Orlando Science Center. And Jeff, we're in the dinosaur exhibit, which is my kid's favorite place here. But for the holidays, you guys have tuned it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, Dino Digs here at Orlando Science Center is one of the favorite exhibits. Yeah. And for the holidays, we have certainly dressed it up a bit. We are in the middle of Dinos and Lights, which is our annual holiday show. Yeah. Our fossil friends get uh, dressed up in uh, twinkle lights, and then we do a, a synchronize it with music, mm -hmm. do it throughout the day. We've got a number of shows going on throughout the day in the exhibit, so it just gives everything a real holiday flair. I will tell you, the first time I saw this with my kids, we didn't know that there was going to be a show, and so when it happened, my children, you could not move them out of this room. They're like, hold on a second, there's something happening. Uh, so we were just talking a little bit about these dinosaur uh, fossil exhibits, yeah. just even without the lights. Tell me a little more interesting facts about that. Well, what's really exciting about these, these are fossil replicas. They're not actual fossils. The actual fossils would be a little too fragile to display in an environment like what we have. Right. They originally came to us from the Black Hills Institute, mm -hmm. but uh, they went from the Black Hills Institute out to Disney's Animal Kingdom, okay. and they were part of Disney's Animal Kingdom when it, when it first opened. Yeah, yeah. And then when that area uh, went through a renovation, when they brought in that T-Rex ride, uh, Disney made the very generous decision to donate the fossils wow, yeah. here to Orlando Science Center, right. and it has been, they've been in our home in Dino Digs since about 2001. We've added new fossils, uh -huh. we've changed the layout quite a bit of time, we've added new activities, but uh, really, this is one of the most favored displays here in Orlando. Science. I love that. Now, the odds of ever seeing a Tyrannosaurus Rex in prehistoric era Florida, probably pretty low. But these guys would probably have been more along the floor. More, more likely. You know, back in prehistoric times, Florida was underwater. So these prehistoric uh, sea creatures here would have been more likely to what you would have encountered yeah. in Florida in the time in the time of the dinosaurs. And you said something interesting to me as well earlier, which is that dinosaurs that are underwater are actually not even called dinosaurs. Yeah, we don't for uh, of whatever reason we don't call underwater dinosaurs dinosaurs. We call them prehistoric sea creatures. <laughs> but you know we're learning so much more all the time of, about dinosaurs, and that's what's fascinating about science too. Yeah. Dino Digs comes in, you get excited about dinosaurs and then, you know, engage with our staff to learn a little bit more and get you started on that path to really take a deep dive. And if you're interested in learning more about the dinosaurs, come on down to the Orlando Science Center and you can get all the information. Plus, go dig for fossils back there. That's a whole other thing as well. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of fun here. And Dino Digs is included with general admission. So you get this exhibit and all the other exhibits of the Science Center. Plus, during this holiday time, check out this Dinos and Light show every day. Love it. Thank you very much, sir. And thank you for joining us for the science of it. Dinosaur approved, that's for sure. If you want to see other cool stuff that's happening at the Orlando Science Center, it's open every day from 10 to 5, except on Wednesday.